billion and one. Hi, I'm John Dodds. 34 years ago, Ted Boas called me and said, I'm making a monster movie. Are you on board? I said, yes, I am. And that's how I became special effects director and monster designer for the film you're going to see tonight, The Deadly Spawn, released in 1982 to terrible reviews for the most part. The New York Times dismissed it, and the shortest film review I ever saw in that newspaper, it was about two terse sentences. They didn't like it. In the intervening 34 years, it got a great deal better, uh, apparently, because today it gets five-star reviews, and four-star reviews, and uh, DVDverdict.com gave it uh, 92 out of a uh, possible 100. Um, uh, people love it today. And what happened in the intervening years is that uh, this kind of extreme low-budget filmmaking, do-it-yourself in the garage filmmaking with minimal means, has become a genre and is viewed differently than when uh, the films were new, uh, 80s gore films especially. Uh, this film was, uh, if we did it today, we'd be probably shooting it on an iPhone, which is how I'm shooting this video <laughs> on my iPhone. Uh, we use 16 millimeter, uh, 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 old stock, a lot of it's very grainy. Um, but there's a, a, a gusto and sometimes even a, a, a polished cinematic expertise that uh, bursts through. I hope a love of filmmaking shows. There is plenty of that there. And uh, uh, the, the mother spawn is made of paper towels dipped in liquid latex, uh, but hopefully it doesn't look like that. Uh, the small spawns were made out of uh, foam rubber. Most of the money went to the visual effects, all $300. <laughs> of it. It's not Lawrence of Arabia, but uh, there's some stuff there to enjoy, and it can surprise you uh, with its, uh, I won't give any, no spoilers, but it can be a surprising film. So I hope you enjoy it, uh, and uh, it's a wonderful film for Halloween, so happy Halloween, and the best to everybody.